G'day, good evening. It's Fish here, the Beach Bum Investor. I wanted to do an idiot's guide to investing in the crypto economy. I think a lot of us are confused about what we're investing in, and I'd just like to share with you some tips that have helped me along the way. The first is to put these cryptocurrencies into categories. Now, it's a common misconception that all these currencies are actual currencies. Uh, take Bitcoin, for example. BTC as we know it. It's, to me, not a currency. It, it's more like something like gold. It's a great store of wealth. It's probably going to appreciate over time. But can you take it down to the pub and buy beer with it? Not really. So, to me, I mean, I love Bitcoin, it is gold, but it, it's more like gold. It's more like a commodity, and that's category one. Okay, so if we move on to category two, we're looking at currencies, coins that have been developed to overcome the scalability issue of Bitcoin and the fact it can't be real, used in real world situations. Okay, so currencies. These are coins like Litecoin, LTC, and Chaincoin. They're going to have much quicker transaction times and be mar far more feasible as uh, a day-to-day -day currency. So that's why these coins have been created, and that's your second category. Now the third category is assets. Now asset, I better finish that, that's better, okay assets, uh, coins like encryption, it's one I, I studied at ICO level actually and it's still available at ICO. Now encryption is a coin that's actually been developed, or blockchain technology that's been developed for the medical industry. Now what this technology is going to allow is for you to have a, a private key in the storage of your metadata on the gene chain as they're calling it. So the real world applications of, of this technology are mind blowing, to me anyway. Um, and that's why I have invested in it personally and just, just to let you all know I have invested in all these coins I'm talking about. So encryption allows you to stay, store your metadata on the gene chain and what that allows for is a you to give accessibility to your metadata to certain people at certain times, whether it be doctors for a consultation or to see what medication you're gonna need. Uh, you can keep everything up to your DNA on there, by the way, so that's quite amazing. Um, but even researchers, you essentially you could look at hiring out your genetic information to researchers trying to develop cures and, and uh, treatments and all sorts of things in the medical industry. It also has applications uh, in administration in the, in the medical industry. And I'm not sure what everyone else's country like is like, sorry, but Australia does have some issues there. Uh, and that's putting it politely. So we'll leave it at that. But that's the third category we're looking at. Now these, these categories do overlap somewhat. Uh, you certainly can spend Bitcoin in some places. Transaction fees are a bit of a killer. I, I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, and Chaincoin, for example, actually is something you can buy and hold a, a masternode. Now, that's essentially, the masternode is uh, something that's used to process the transaction. So this then becomes a crossover between a currency and an asset as that generates a residual income going forward. And that's really what I'm looking for in the crypto economy at the moment. Yes, I'm looking to back, back things like encryption that I think can have a really, really big impact on the world. Uh, but I'm also looking at what can be used as real world currency and can I hold that as an asset as well. And that's where I look for masternodes and I also look for co coins that have uh, what they're calling proof of stake, like clams. Uh, so basically, or PIVX actually has staking as well. So PIVX is one where you can hold the node if you generate 10,000 coins, but even if you fall short of that, you can make about 4.8% 4, 4 per year at the current estimates on just holding those coins in an open wallet. Now, as I said, this is an idiot's guide, so I'm not gonna get too much into the detail, and to be honest, I'm not great with computers. I'm a, I've actually bought a full CHC 
master node and I'm having to wait to set it up because I've, I've got a mate uh, who's very good with computers but he's a little tied down at the moment so unfortunately I'm missing about four dollars US a day on residual income there my point is is if you do look for these uh, currencies that overlap as assets I think that's a really good way forward um, but in any case as long as you understand that not everything you're investing in is another version of Bitcoin. I, I really believe that's a common misconception out there. So this is version one, I guess, of the idiot's guide to investing in the crypto economy. Uh, and it's coming from a fair idiot who's only been in it for three months, but has done all right. So I'm gonna try and share some tips with you along the way. Uh, I'm Fish, the Beach Bum inv <laughs> Investor, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take it easy, frothers.